Welcome to today's video. We will be learning how to add a sync account to the macOS version of Pocket Informant. For this video we will be using macOS Pocket Informant version 1.1.6 and macOS version 10.14.4. We will add an Informant sync account. All other sync accounts will be added in a similar fashion. Then we'll show you how to add the Apple data to Pocket Informant and finally we will show you how to assign events, notes, and tasks to your designated sync service. So let's begin. Starting from any view in the application, click Informant, Preferences, then click on Accounts. In this screen, tap the account you want to use. In our case, it will be Informant Sync. Sign in by entering your sign in name and password. Then click on OK. To start the actual syncing process now, tap Begin Sync. Once the syncing is completed, your data will populate as you can see here if you are syncing to an Informant Sync account that already has data in it. If this is your first time syncing data up to Informant Sync, then all your data will be in the account and will be available for other Informant Sync applications to view. Now, let's add the Apple data. To do this, go back to Preferences, Accounts, and you'll notice two boxes in the top left corner, one for Events and one for Reminders. Checking both of these boxes will allow your Mac to share its calendar and reminders data with the Informant application, making this data visible and available to use in Pocket Informant. One important note, your Mac is simply sharing its data with the Informant application. Your Mac is still responsible for syncing the data, backing the data up and storing the data. As you can see here now we have our Mac data along with our Informant Sync data both visible at the same time in Pocket Informant. So now we'll talk about how to assign data to a specific sync service. Go to the Add button, click on Task in this case, enter a title, and then click on the Projects tab and a menu will open up and you can see all the projects divided by their sync services. We're going to use the Test folder in the Informant Sync account. Now we can either finish filling out our task here or if we're happy with it we can save it and it will automatically sync to Informant Sync for us. Events are handled in a much similar fashion. Again, you'll go to the Add button, select Event, enter your title, and then you'll click on the Calendar field. This will show all the available calendars divided by their sync services. In our case, again, we're staying with Informant Sync, so we're going to select this calendar and then save our event. Once it is saved, it will be synced automatically to Informant Sync. Finally, for notes, again, you go back to the Add button and click on it and then select Note. You'll notice the Note Editor is a little different from the other editors we've seen. Still go ahead and enter your title. And then just below the title field is the area where you will select your folder. Folders are similar to projects. They're broken out by their sync service. We'll select this one that goes to Informant Sync. And our note is saved and it's automatically syncing to the Informant Sync service. Well, that concludes our video. 
We thank you for your time. If you do have any further questions, please feel free to contact our support team at pocketinformant.com forward slash support. Our team will be very happy to further assist you and help answer any other questions that you might have. Thank you for watching this overview, and we hope that you have a great and productive day. Thank you.